Hey, I cried at uh, some of your fights as well because yeah. you've had a magnificent career. Should we have a little reminder? Yeah. Yeah, have a look at this. That's the fun part, that's that's what we train for. The, the training is the hard part, that's a sacrifice. But when you get out to actually show what you can do and enjoy it, um, even when you're down on the canvas a couple of times and there's blood flowing out of every part of your body. You've made a decision, share it with us please. Yeah, we've we've made a decision and I, I, I took my time, it's been four months, you know, since our last fight. And it's, you know, I'm, I'm 25 years boxing now. <laughs> 25 years boxing, what, 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 when, when and I could start? still say my own name, so. Yeah. Um, you know, I started boxing when I was five, and I'm 30 now, and you know, I've enjoyed what I've been doing all my life, but it's time to call it a day. You're out? I'm done, I'm finished boxing. You know, I was Irish champion as an amateur, I was European champion, and as you said earlier on, I was, I was world champion. Yeah. So unless they invent a galactic title or something <laughs> like that, um, I've achieved all I can in boxing. Fantastic memories, really does. We sent six boxers, Every, each one of them won a fight, four of them win medals. It's, it's, it's really hard to top something like that. We can rant and rave about how good Joe Ward is, you know, and we all know how good he is. You know, at, at the age of 18, he went to win a European silver or gold medal. You know, incredible, he's won two world underage titles. You know, there's no doubt in his talent, but he's got to produce a week in, week out now in the senior level. He's, he's become educated in how he, he plans his attacks. You know, it's one to close up, slip out to the side, and get his right hand off again. And he's very, very smart, and very good for the scoring system. He looks good, picking the shots, fading his hands, drawing the shot from his opponent and counting. He's that clever, he can yeah. do that. Yeah. And he's made to box. He's got the footwork, he's got the speed, he's got the intelligence to pick shots, hit the, hit the target. I just think world boxing, the standard has actually gone up. Gone you look up, at the Irish yeah. team, prime example. You no, know, we, we can compete with anybody now in the world. Absolutely. You know, and, and that, like other countries are improving at that as well. It's been it's been very special, hasn't it? It has, it really has. And that's a fitting end to the games, a GB fighter winning an exciting bill mm. right at the end, you know, and it's um it's it's improved as it's gone on. It really has, you know, scoring as Kenny said was a bit iffy at the start. They got that in check. You know, we've seen some fantastic skills, we've seen some, some fantastic fight, getting in and actually getting having the right go. Uh, we've seen bits of everything and you know it's it's been a great game to commentate on. It really has been. Welcome to Ultimate Street Challenge. Today's challenge is gonna push you both physically and mentally. And what I will be looking for is discipline, dedication, effort, all these things I expect and all these things I'll be judging you on. I know it's been a tough couple of weeks since you've been here, physically, mentally, and for some of you emotionally. So far our challenges have all been about teamwork team bonding and working together as a unit. Today that stops. Today you're going to be judged as individuals. We know you're a natural athlete and you're a big competitor. And I think that backfired on you today. Your will to succeed and strive for a perfect round. You just got more frustrated and frustrated as, as the challenge went on. And you let it get to you. And you should have put it behind you and just finished the challenge. Bernard is invited the final four challengers to his house to psych them up for the final. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? That's what I get into boxing for. I get into boxing to get into those big fights. It's like any soccer player, any rugby player. They want to play on the big stage. And this is, this is your chance to perform on the big stage. So it's ultimately in the end for you, Kira. Your self-belief. And my man, congratulations. You are the ultimate street challenge. Why should I learn Irish? What are the benefits in it for me? What are you telling them? You get a sense of identity, a sense of pride, a sense of, a sense of who you are. It's, it's part of your culture, it's part of your heritage. It's something we were born with in us. And every person is a couple of fucking idiot into it. They're like, and I know it. No, no, it's really too hard to a couple of fucking like gawk dinner. I really do believe it's cheaper to encourage every single person, and not just 100,000 that we're looking for. Every single person, 
Now whether you were born here or born somewhere else, do you used to keep a fuck? Like I'm not just doing this for the sake of doing it. I'm doing this because it's something I believe in. I've been doing it because, you know, I love the language. You know, I, I, again, I think it's, you know, it's part of who we are and we should be embracing it. We shouldn't be knocking the language. Don't be afraid to say the word. Don't be afraid that somebody's going to stand and say, no, that's not the right way to say it, or you left a H out there, like, you know. It's, um, it's about just giving it a go.